Here we are again, Women Matters from all over the world. We women, we are eight today and it's the 1st of February, 2021. And today I give over to Haneli who has been ready to lead us through the, through the session. I don't know if you want to begin with check-ins, so you do. Yeah, we can, yeah, we can start with a, check, a gentle check-in. Um, who wants to start? Gently drop into the space. Yeah, I'm in a very gentle mood. I can start. <laughs> I am Monja in Vienna, Austria, center of Europe. Uh, we had lots of sunshine today and I feel very peaceful. And I'm reading a book by someone, Heidi and I don't really uh, find very ethical, but the book is just great. It's called The Mystery of Love. And I, I just savor it. <laughs> <laughs> so I pass on to Gertraud. Yeah, I'm Gertrud from middle of Germany and um, I am <laughs> just in the middle of recording my first online course. It's very uh, exciting and uh, yeah. <laughs> I still have my mic here because we'll go on after this here. Um, so you'll find it some sometime in the in 21. <laughs> um, yeah. So that was my my task for the day. <laughs> and uh, great to see you. And uh, yesterday I participated in a storytelling uh, event with lots lots of candles and people around the world because today is in the old tradition, in the Celtic tradition, it's the um, coming back of the light. And uh, so it was, yeah, storytelling around that. And, and this was a really nice event. And so today the light is coming back and spring is on the rise. Yeah. And I'm giving to Veronica. Sorry, Victor, <laughs> Victoria. <laughs> Sorry. I was looking for Veronica. I thought, oh, so <laughs> me too. I was very interested to find out who she was. Um, well, I wish I were Veronica today. Or <laughs> um, I'm a little bit on the groggy side. I've been having very bad nights lately. Um, I'm oh, I'm in um, San Diego. Well, La Mesa, California, which is near San Diego. And um, let's see. Well, I, I'm in the middle of a, my series on Albrecht Dürer, uh, a lecture series. And I was absorbed in that. I, I mean, I'm still absorbed in that. I have three more lectures, but um, in the meantime, um, I somehow got scheduled for a concert in March and um, I hadn't played the violin for a year. So um, I'm under a lot of pressure. That's probably why I'm having sleepless nights right now. Um, so I'm trying to be very, very careful and not injure myself, which has happened before but at the same time, try to get back in condition. Um, so it's it's a big challenge and and it's right in the middle of this Durer. And also in this later in the spring, I'm going to offer a lecture series on Josef Beuys um, in honor of his centenary, which is coming up in May. In fact, um, it's, it's cosmic. I always look for cosmic um, signs and his, um, his centenary will be exactly at the moment that I start my first lecture here in California. 
because he was born on May 12th and I'm starting on May 11th, but in the evening and he was born in Northern Germany. So anyway, I'm very excited about that, but it's a lot all at once. And, um, and then suddenly in the midst of all that, the, the people handling my mother's estate have suddenly decided to get active um, after months of silence. And so that's a big pressure. So everything, it's all or, all or nothing. Um, anyway, I talked way too long. I think that was it for the hour. I'm still asleep. I will pass to Christine, who looks like she's in better condition than I am. We're in the same time zone. <laughs> Good morning, Victoria. Um, I'm Christine, and I'm in Carlsbad, California, just up the road a ways from uh, Victoria in San Diego County. Um, what is it called? Today is 2121. I don't know what that's called, but I think those these kinds of days are supposed to be significant in some way. Maybe somebody else can pipe in later when the dates uh, align like that. Um, I, I find it very interesting that Victoria would say she hasn't played her violin for a year because I've been berating myself. I, I'm not a professional musician, but I have not been able to get myself to play the piano during the pandemic. It's because I'm not having lessons. So I don't have any real good reason to practice. And I'm just kind of astonished at myself for not wanting to sit down and play. Um, I don't know, it, it's a little puzzling, but <laughs> I guess it was somewhat reassuring to hear Victoria <laughs> say that she hasn't played either. Um, and I don't know, uh, I'm getting ready for a presentation in, uh, March to our uh, local integral group. And I, I may um, ask to do a dry run uh, with Women's Matters uh, as we get closer to that date. And it's on um, Easter and the resurrection and looking at that through an integral lens and what, what could it mean through an integral perspective. So I will turn it over to Martini. Yeah, hello. I'm very pleased to be here. And I thank Heidi for the room and the beautiful themes, what she said. Um, I share the wonder of your life and I see the gold in you. And I have to tell you that yesterday we had our golden marriage. So it is a, a special gold feeling and therefore the flowers beside me, the um, Dutch uh, tulips, and they are very special. If, you, if they are open, they have a black inside with a, a yellow uh, around it and it's beautiful. Um, I am from Austria and I live in Kritzendorf. And uh, I think I have said, oh, I'm very pleased that I have a bigger um, to see you, a bigger <laughs> screen, screen. <laughs> the easiest things. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, I give two. Um, um, Beatrice. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm calling from Brooklyn, New York, and we are having our snowstorm today, which I just love. Um, it started snowing uh, last night, and um, actually, there's even an official declaration from the mayor that no one is allowed to travel until 6 a.m. tomorrow because. Um, it's a blizzard warning. Anyway, I love it. <laughs> I know some people don't love this, but um, I, it's just, it's so quiet. Everything is muffled. Everything is covered in snow. I'm looking out of my window right now and the, the branches are laden with just inches and inches and inches and layers and layers of snow and the snowflakes are dancing. And um, anyway, so that's, that's my happy place. <laughs> And it feels very gentle and it feels like there's no rush and no urgency and anything that 
is usually swirling around can take a pause today. Um, so I like that. Um, I've been keeping very busy, many Zoom things. Um, I, this weekend, uh, attended several workshops, um, two of which were about ritual and grieving, and they were really beautiful, um, led by a local artist. Um, and I took another workshop about how to connect physically and, and in community with people over Zoom and how to be in touch with your body and other people's bodies. Um, and that was really beautiful. And so I feel it was tiring because these are, we were emotionally and physically and there was a lot going on with these workshops, but also I feel very nourished and um, grateful that I feel like there's so many things that I've gotten to do in this pandemic that I would not have done or been able to do um, if it, in another circumstance, um, because, you know, these were, I went to a workshop in LA and a workshop, you know, in Brooklyn and <laughs> meeting communities all over the world, meeting all of you. Um, so I have a lot of gratitude for, for the technology that we have right now. And, um, even though it's been a hard, hard year and a hard time, and I can't believe we're almost reaching the one year anniversary of when it all first shut down. But, um, yeah, today I have, I'm in a place of joy and gratitude. So I pass to Lucinda, my East Coast <laughs> counterpart. Yes. So is there a thread? I'm sorry to be late. I um, couldn't find my computer. <laughs> We're just, oh, checking, just checking. checking in. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I'm in New Hampshire um, still. And there's the drum roll for this big thun this big storm coming, and uh, we're meant to get not as much as as my. I was checking my little house. We have a camera on my little house in Connecticut, and there's a lot of snow there. And I don't know how much we'll get here, but uh, I love it. I, I uh, it's uh, very very um, cozy, um, uh, anticipating. Um, I'd say. I was really interested about the musical thing because I, I did teach piano and I have two pianos, one here and it's all wrapped up because the room is being painted and another one at home that I woke up in the middle of the night and said, oh my gosh, I haven't got the humidifier, you know, the damp chaser underneath going, is that bad? It's in Connecticut all by itself. But I too have not been able to go near the piano for my own playing. Uh, never mind, I'm not teaching. And I've, it's been curious. And I thought it was because I was doing it for my father, really, then he died and I thought it was a kind of mourning, but it may be a bigger picture of uh, music. I, don't, I just don't, it, it's, it's, I thank you for broadening that mystery for me. Um, I'm alternating between uh, being really, uh, frustrated. Uh, I love to be with people and feeling it's going to go on and on. And uh, even though the numbers are beginning to come down in the United States and really saying, okay, because I like people so much, would I be doing all I'm doing on my writing right now? Am I being <laughs> put in a cloister for just that? Because um, the beta readers for my first book have come are coming back with their responses. I'm gonna do a last go round and then uh, uh, put it out. I've got a kind of a little website that was that's on the good enough level. Um, it, so when that starts going out, I'll have a go-to for uh, editors or agents. And um, I'm thrashing through the beginnings of a second one. It's uh, first drafts are terrible. Um, they go every which way, but there's a lot of magic. There's a lot of dreaming. It's about it's about girls and women, and it's it's uh, kind of interesting. So I have threads that I'm trying to weave together, and I think I would only do it if forced to sit down. Forced, I'm in forced seclusion here, so I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful to be with you all, and happy anniversary, Martini. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lucinda. <clears throat> Thank and you. I pass pass it on, Hanley. Yeah. 
Yeah, to me, on the last one with the cheese. Yeah, okay. The last Good, one. Thank you. I am so. I'm no. Oh, you also. I'm Hi, sorry. Sorry, apologies. I <laughs> okay, I'm only the introduction. Anyway. Paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> I have to go and get put some some wood on the on the on the furnace in a minute, but uh, we have some warm days when the sun is out, and then it's very humid and this feels a little bit like this. But on my little piece of you know uh, you can call it lawn, but instead of lawn, they are all coming out the anemones. There are already 100 or 150 anemones in flower, and the first daffodils are coming up. So it looks as if uh, spring isn't too far away. So I'm really glad. Oh, great. And then as for, for music, I was thinking, I didn't sing it. Oh, yeah, I do now sing under the cold shower for, for, uh, for you know, <laughs> for having it a little bit less. Uh, at the Singing beginning. or shrieking? <laughs> I, I, I sing, and uh, that's the only thing. I warned the per person who is living here, said, when you hear me sing, that means I'm under the court shower. But I didn't sing anymore. And I was just listening to uh, an Austrian um, cabaretist uh, but, uh, and, and actor, and she reminded me, in this situation, nobody could go on the stage. And maybe that's the, the collective the collective energy that shuts down all this sort of uh, artistic work. I mean, like Martini, she is used to stay at home and pain, so that might go on. But when you are used to perform and you can't anymore, that seems to be like, <sighs> so I was thinking maybe that is um, transmitting to everybody, if you are a professionist or, or not, I don't know, but just came into my mind. And then I'm really glad that you are here again. It's always wonderful yes. to meet you. And I give over to Hanely. <laughs> Thank you, Heidi. Sorry for getting about you there. Yeah, it's very interesting you ladies share about music because I'm a dancer. I dance at least three, four nights, five nights a week, physically speaking now in real life. And with the past year online, dancing just didn't really uh, there's lots of online dancing stuff going on that I can attend of the communities that I used to dance in. And I did some, but it's not that I don't have that urge. Where before, if I didn't dance at least once or twice a week, I would, have, I would feel really down. My body needs to move in that way. So that you're sharing about the music is interesting. Yes. And for us, um, I can feel autumn, yeah? We have had rain for about 12 days consecutively now. So very little sun. <laughs> and it's cold like in winter. And usually when we get rain in summer, it's hot. So the, it's very interesting weather. Um, and I can also pick up the collective here as well. People are not used to it, so they feel a bit frustrated and they can't go out for walks and things like that. And our COVID figures are going down as well. So there's hope for me to be able to get a flight to Europe sometime soon. So I'm looking forward to that. February is a very active month and I love how things just unfold naturally. Um, on Thursday, I connected with a friend who is going to join me in one of the experiences that I'm going to host online in February. And it turned into a love wave across the globe using the Valentine's energy. So on the 15th, 13th of February, we start in Japan and we have facilitated sharing experiences all across to the West Coast of America, um, 15, uh, three o'clock their time, hosting something. So different ones, India, Kuwait, UAE, um, the UK, New South Africa. So we go on with this wave of love. And the idea is to share something every month, once every month, to help people to, be, to remember love and that we have a choice between love and fear. And how can we then bring more love into our lives through the process? So I'm looking forward to that. And you ladies being here, and Heidi, thank you for the invitation to, to and it's not lead, it's just to share together with you in the experience and it's based on the three suggestions that we received 
two from Aide and one from Monia. So we're just going to weave them all together. So we're going to start off just to relax and take a deep breath. And we're going to go on a gentle, gentle journey when Aide is back. So in the meantime, we can just become aware of our body and how we feel in this moment. Doesn't matter what it is, we're not judging it. We may be just feeling ourselves sitting and being supported by the earth and just noticing our internal state of being in this moment and just relax more and let go of everything Are the thoughts of the day coming, or the day almost ending, just relaxing more. And you're welcome to close your eyes as we're going to go on a little journey. And just take two or three deep breaths to bring your attention back into your body, gently, gently, without rush. And imagine you find yourself on a beach, the sun on your skin. You feel the breeze, you hear the birds in the sky. You're aware of the sound of the waves coming in and out, in and out. And you look over the horizon and have this feeling of expansiveness of incredible beauty. You are completely alone on this beach besides nature itself and the elements. And as you're sitting there, you relax more and more. There's no way to go to, nothing to do. And in your heart, you can feel you're here for a very special reason. And then suddenly you hear your name called. And then again, you look around, you cannot see anyone. And you gently get up. And you walk across the sand dune with much ease towards this voice calling your name. And in front of you, you see three paths. You choose the middle one. And you gently st stride along this path like a little girl. Suddenly there's little animals around you like rabbits. You hear the birds. There's this forest in front of you and you're not afraid. You just gently follow this path. You know this path very, very well. You look up to the trees, you feel the breeze on your skin. There's joy in your heart as you follow this path. And then suddenly you find yourself in a clearing. And there's an incredible being standing in front of you, but you're not afraid. She's welcoming you. She's inviting you to come closer. Then you realize this is your whole complete self. And you see the love in her eyes for you. And you feel so loved in this moment. And she beckons you to sit on a chair close to her, you're looking at her into her soft eyes as she gently sit down. And today she has a very special message for you, a message of the wonder of your life. And you listen and you receive this message in your own way.
the wonder of your life. There is no rush. Take your time. You receive this message on a cellular level, a neural level, atomic level. Feel the love, you feel the reality of this wonder of your life. She gently gets up and comes stand behind you with her hands on your shoulder. And she gently kisses your head from the behind and stroke your hair. You get the feeling that she's urging you to gently stand up, to stand tall in the wonder of your life, being supported, being held, being enabled to live this life, to be this. And suddenly you have the urge to hop, skip and jump like a little girl, the little girl in you. You turn around, she gently embraces you and sends you off back on the path. You find your own way in your own time to the beach aware of everything around you, every little sound, all the subtleties, all the detail. And when you get to the beach, you sit down again. Now as you look out over the horizon, you're coming back into this space in your own time, in your own way. And with you, you bring the wonder of your life. And as you gently come into this space, just be with that for a moment. Take a moment to breathe it into your body, into this moment, a slow deep breath of two.
And here we are together. The nine wonders of life, beautiful form and expression. And when you're comfortable and ready, you can share your experience, your wonder of your life with us in whatever way you want. Maybe a few words, maybe more. An expression of it, but could even be an expression just of your body. I can just share that in this moment, I feel when I'm sensing into our collective wonder, there is vibration going through my body and I'm becoming aware of incredible beauty, something that cannot necessarily be expressed in words. So thank you for that, for weaving this together. I had the um, feeling of connection with a lot of animals I met along the way. And it was a big harmony and we were all around the fountain, the Brunnen which, uh, in German. No? And looking into it, oh, now I'm seeing here is also a little rabbit. Can you see that? We were all, <clears throat> and these animals, all sitting around and looking into it, and, and me too. And it was as if we were a unity. So it was, thank you, it was a nice journey. I've, when I opened my eyes and I looked at all of you, I felt that the same vibration of Eros is vibrating in all of us of different kinds. And it's such a great joy to witness that. And I guess that's the wonder of my life that I have been privileged to feel Eros in so many ways. Uh, that I can experience it now in everything. And that's really a great privilege. Thank you, Anneli. It was just a beautiful journey. Um, I found myself again in a cave where I meet my muses and ancestors and guides. And it was just extraordinarily nourishing to be with um, the mother who on occasion appears as an old wizened woman, but she was just this magnificent tall life force and and I think uh, your introduction about the choice between love and fear because as I emerge 
I'm very much balanced between aware of my responsibility to choose embodying that that I saw, because I'm also very aware of the hounds at the door, you know, don't step out, it's dangerous, you know, that those, those voices of fear from time immemorial that particularly have been aimed at women. So um, I'm feeling like it's an active stance to stay with this high vibration. It's, a, it's not a, a being place, but as, as, as much as being, it's a a- very active being place to ground in that, that beauty and that love and that uh, sense of mission. So thank you, beautiful experience. Like Heidi, I um, was just enchanted by this forest of animals and um, it's sort of like like Snow White when she's in the forest and all the animals come to help her. And the miracle was when I opened my eyes, the first thing I saw out my window here were um, what I call my breakfast birds. Um, they're little birds, well, I have one particular breakfast bird that's quite large. I don't know what species he is, but lately there have been these tiny little birds that are just so full of excitement about bathing in the morning. They're in my um, bird bath. And it was such a gift to realize, it was sort of like Monia's realization too. There was this kind of inside outside that um, when I opened my eyes, it was a confirmation of my experience within. And that was a moment of real joy because I thought um, it's 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 all the same. That it, that wasn't an illusion or a fantasy. That was an affirmation of what what the world can be for us if we acknowledge. Um, so I guess like acknowledging the gold of the world. <laughs> so with that, thank you, Hanali. It was really beautiful. I'd like to tape it and have that like as my audio. <laughs> every day to listen to. I love your the sound of your voice too. It, your voice reminded me of the the rhythms of the waves because the ocean is my element. I I grew up right on the ocean. I love it. So thank you. The, the wind outside did some uh, gusting right when you said, hear the sound of the ocean waves and it sounded just like the ocean. So that was a, a synchronicity. It was just in that moment, it hasn't really been doing it since. Um, so that was beautiful. Um, yeah, for me, it was, I was, I feel like when I was meeting my whole self, I was meeting my future self but also in a weird, like mystic, not weird, but mystical kind of spiritual way. Cause she was taller than, than life and big, she was kind of like this, this goddess spirit that was radiant and translucent and kind of fairy-like and glowing. Um, and way, and I, I kind of, at one point I kind of saw it, saw both of us together. I wasn't in my and I was like the small, the small little character connecting with this beautiful, large, <laughs> um, embracing figure. Um, but she said to me, she said, this, these are the words that I wrote down after, after we returned. Um, so I'm just going to read them. Trust, gentleness, gratitude, and ease. It will come. There is no rush. Seek and ye shall find, knock and the door will be open to you. You are exactly where you need to be. I love you for who you are now, even in knowing who you will become. So that's my message from my future self to my current self and my whole self to my, I don't know, partial self, I guess. <laughs> current self, current self. I, I feel that there's, there's a, 
expansion and growing that will continue to happen with time as I approach being that <laughs> spirit representation. Wow, I really liked what you wrote down, uh, Beatrice. That was really neat. And the fact that it was so spontaneous, uh, that was really good. Um, I enjoyed visualizing the different parts of nature, the, the beach, uh, the path, the woods, the open space. I found that very easy to kind of conjure that up. Um, the sounds were all so easy. Uh, I, I was trying to conjure up the smells, which is not as easy to do, uh, get a memory of that. But I find when I'm in nature that uh, what I, the smells that go along with it are very important uh, to me because they transport me a great deal. Um, and I guess when, when you use the word wondrous, what I kept relating to was not really me personally or my, my personal life as much as um, mystery. You know, the things that we don't know and can't figure out and, and probably spend a lifetime wondering about and thinking about, but are just always a little bit beyond our comprehension. Um, so that's what I related to uh, with your words. Martini, you opened your mic. Do you want to share first? <clears throat> okay. Um, I listened very intensively to what um, you were saying and let us let me feel and i could um, feel myself very uh, comfort and pleased with it but i did not think at all i was just the observer what you were seeing and uh, I just let it um, be what it is. And maybe um, I, when I sleep about it, that I can write something down. I don't know yet. It is always by me very, very uncertain. It comes or it doesn't come. But I am very pleased that this is possible in this circle what Monia has, has said, thank you Heidi for the circle, because I think it is an, a universal family that um, you tell the, this to us and we can experience beautiful experience. I, I listened to, to all of you very intensively, but I am not prepared yet now um, to respond more what I can see yeah, at the moment. And I think it is enough and maybe it works more. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you, Gertraud. Yeah, um, I could feel it more than visual. Um, so to have the visuals. Um, and when you, Hanali, said um, the wonders, it was just like a physical 
it was just going through. And somewhere in between, or even after I went back to the beach, uh, there was this thought in my mind that appreciation is sweeping, maybe because you shared before the, the, the wave of love coming through the world or yeah, around the world. It was like a wave of appreciation going through all companies, organizations, uh, groups, whatever. So it felt, and I heard myself declaring the appreciation manifesto which I put in the, in the chat. Uh, it was just no physical audience, but it was into the world, <laughs> like over the horizon and beyond. So it was the first thing that came to my mind when you said that was though, um, a very special person for me to get to be healed. So it was like, that's done. <laughs> it already happened. And and then what I just shared. And I was sitting there at the at the beach and wow, that just happened. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. So in 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 amazement or something like that yeah so i could have stayed there for longer and um i think christine said he, if you want to if you would love to <laughs> and record it it would be great just to have it at hand yeah to, There's no problem because I have the recording uh, video and I can strip out the recording audio and I can ah. see you, so no problem. I can also- So this, this section, this particular section, you could, oh, wonderful. Then, okay. I wouldn't know how to do it, <laughs> so. Yeah, that's all the things I have learned in the past 10 years, how to do all this stuff. Not really very professionally, but at least I know how to do it. So that's good. <laughs> Thank you, Gertrude. Thank you, everyone. Me sharing the experience with you makes me deeply emotional on a very deep level of the feeling of every experience that you've shared. So I want to thank you for that. And thank you, Gertrude, for you sharing about appreciation. As from this beautiful space, considering our time that we have available, for this beautiful wave of the wonder of life that we all co-shared and co-created and woven together here, perhaps take a moment and one individual Connect with them who is present here and take a moment to really see the gold in them and then to share it with that individual and the one on the receptive side to really sit with it and to receive it on a cellular level and to embrace it. that recognition and that appreciation, but more so the recognition and the beauty of it. So anyone on the, who is here with us to connect and to see the gold and to share it, whatever it is you see with them, just briefly. Well, um, she may be a very popular choice, but I'm going to pick Heidi. Um, 
mostly because you know she's the only person I have actually physically spent time with out of all of you lovely ladies. She is the only one with whom I've had a uh, in-person connection. And um, the gold I see in her really is her generosity, um, both in very practical terms of material generosity and sharing her place and sharing her time. Uh, but also just sharing her spirit and curiosity and knowledge and, and all that she is. So I would, uh, it's easy for me to identify the gold in Heidi. Thank you very much. Uh, Hanili, when you asked uh, to who to pick, I have in front of me, right in the middle, Victoria. And she is looking at me in such a beauty. She looks like in one of these pictures she is researching of these ancient painters, Italian painters, you know. And I see this fullness and I appreciate the eyes in with which you look into the world, which are so, how can I say, genuine, open, and real, true. And I love, I love uh, being with you, connecting with you from the from the first time when we met. We only met online, but I I see the beauty of your soul in you, and I'm glad that you are in our community and with me. In, in other words, so thank you. I think this is your day, Heidi, <laughs> because <clears throat> because although uh, the, my first reaction to what Hanali said was, oh, no, I can't choose one. I want to choose all of you. And I really feel, especially today, <clears throat> what Monia um, articulated about the arrows in our whole group. And I really felt it so strongly today. I've, I've felt it actually every time we meet, to, but when Monia put it into words today, it was really powerful. And that, I think that's what defines our group. And so, like Christine said, it was sort of a natural thing to look for the source. <laughs> and, um, you know, we're, we're all here thanks to you. And um, yeah, and the first, I, I don't, I'm reluctant to feel like I know people through technology and not in person. It's interesting, Christine said, you're the one person she has met in the flesh. And um, of course, Beatrice is <laughs> the one person I've not only met in the flesh, but produced in the flesh. Um, but <clears throat> but I feel so, so close. I feel close to all of you, but Heidi, you, you have made this possible. And so um, today my heart is especially with you, but it's with all of you. Thank you. So I, I, I thought we continue, but I have already said, so I would give over, let's say, to Beatrice. Um, I had the same, same problem. I was scanning it <laughs> and didn't know how to stop. Um, I, I had, I see gold in each of each of you, but um, I think today I will uh, say Martini, your your goal to me is is always the the childlike wonder and creativity and uh, gentle, soft, sweet, joyful presence. And I want to be like you. <laughs> I it's so beautiful to be in your presence. Um, it's been so wonderful to to get to know you digitally. And so that's the gold that I will highlight today. But I genuinely, I have a piece of gold <laughs> for all of you. I see, I see it in all of you. Um, so that's my sharing for today. 
well, let's sprinkle gold dust over everybody here. <laughs> uh, I want, I just can't resist praising the vitality of Hanali. And I wish I, yeah, well, maybe I am resonating in to her vitality because I have always had it as well, but hers is just erupting and I really appreciate her gold distributed so freely to all of us. Thank you, Haneli. And I would like to also sprinkle fairy dust and gold dust everywhere. <laughs> and, but uh, you're in the middle for me, Beatrice. <laughs> and I think it's your youthful wisdom and your spark and your fierce spirit is this fierce spirit inside of you that remind me so much of myself when I was your age and of life itself and curiosity and the way you just navigated yourself here with us older <laughs> ladies and women but it's your intense creative spirit that i want to honor today in so many different ways you just open your mouth you just sit there and it just comes out of you so thank you for that You are I'm here, Martini. You are already here. You don't need to do anything. Okay. I don't see myself. I, it is a pity, uh, but I have to move uh, uh, all the pictures. But uh, it is what it is. And we will get an, an other apparat. Um, I wanted to... Uh, I do not have one person in in a focus, so I I move and I was just with Hanali and Beatrice, and um, I want to thank you, Hanali, how it is possible that you um, uh, can concentrate so much in talking and saying the right the right words and that your tears are coming and I saw it like gold, the golden tears. I think it is so beautiful. And I um, appreciate uh, Beatrice for her gold because I was quite a lot of time, spent quite a lot of time in her homepage and and she was dancing and um and uh, years ago and, and and now she's sitting there and uh, you are so young and what Hanali said you remember me when I was in your age I didn't have the courage in your age what you are doing now I was so shy and so um, not believing in myself yeah and you are so sure so sure what you are doing and I do appreciate and I think this is gold uh, uh, um, beauty and um, Victoria this is what you really can appreciate for your daughter and that you are able to share this with her and uh, uh, I do have a daughter as well and she is um, 34 but she is a, a beautiful person but she does not have the um, the peace within what you as a young person I wonder I wonder and I hope that the gold within you and and everybody um, will will shine in this beautiful circle we are. 
Thanks, Heidi. I, I, I get out, Monia. Uh, I have to look all the, all, the, all around. Christine, I, I wondered about you when you were saying from 2121, it is so beautiful because that is always a new beginning. And I, I have to tell you that I was so pleased about uh, the, the little poet, uh, what the little uh, tiny girl from America was telling for the vice president that we have to have the courage to be the light. Oh, I think she she did it so beautiful. And um, you can be proud to be in America. I, 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 and we are not um, finished, she said. And this is where we are all working for, that, that America is becoming what it is with all the beautiful people there. Yeah, from all the nations. And uh, yeah. Lucinda, Christine, did I mention everybody? Uh, uh, Victoria, with your lovely daughter <laughs> and your beautiful hair. <laughs> oh, it is so nice to be here. <laughs> so I, I give to uh, Lucinda. Oh my. Well, yes, uh, fairy dust, gold dust everywhere shining from everyone. And I have to say that um, I did want to bring forward Gertraud uh, and her gold. I've been thinking all this week about coming out, stepping out, dancing out, and and, uh, and that's Johanna Le too, dancing out. But, but particularly, I just feel there is a deep river of gold just being in your presence. Um, and, um, and, and the world, as you step out, come out of that closet uh, and move to perhaps a place where you're even more visible. Um, uh, it's just going to enrich and up-level the vibration of this entire planet. So I, I want to thank you for that gold. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. My attention went to Christine right away. <laughs> um, yeah, this, the goal, it's, it's your, what do you say, honesty and earnest, or what is that word? It, so there isn't, um I, I I always feel that you're like deeply connected to what you're talking about, deeply connected to to really making a difference. And your earnest concern about people beyond your family, like really making a difference in the world. But you do it in another way than other people. You, you're not the sparkling, active, uh, but more really from that deep place, from that, like, um, yeah, that that those gold nuggets come out in a way that they are uh, treasured and that they are received. You don't just. <laughs> Yeah, and, and I really appreciate that that quality of um, rather saying nothing than not making a difference. So really to to yeah to be what you speak. And you, Lucinda, your quality of of of. When you talk about your books, it's just amazing. I, I really love that. So yeah, and this so you, 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 the sparkles come across. I remember when I did. Uh, it was hard work <laughs> to write the book for you. It, it really like a dance. It comes across like music, and yeah, and, and that's very very joyful to listen to. Ah. 
thank you everyone for being you and being here. Hanali, you invited us to, to return to our childhood, our girlhood. And all this, during this whole meeting, I've been, um, it's, it's, it's something I've kept since I was a tiny child. And I wanted to say, can't we meet every day? <laughs> Can, do I have to wait two more weeks to see you all again? <laughs> it's this, uh, I, I wish we could be together all the time. <laughs> And it's just incredible, the feeling that I have now is with this love wave experience coming up. Even before we came together today, I have this feeling that this is going to infuse that wave across the globe. So I want to thank you for that. And for being here. Thank you, Heidi, for always continuing to hold the space for all of us and everyone here. I'm getting a gold attack. <laughs> and and it, it wasn't, hasn't been present today, but also as I've, this is really my th only third meeting, I think, but I hear the gong from Monia's corner there behind her shoji screen. And, and the, the, the deep alignment that, that she brings uh, with humor, but also that alignment of that sound, Monia, <laughs> it is gold to me. Thank you, my heart. There we go. <laughs> I'm complete. <laughs> and it is done. Monia, thank you. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> 